Igneous Mineral Deposits Igneous mineral deposits are significant sources of many of the world's essential minerals and elements. These deposits form from the crystallization of magma, either within the Earth's crust or on the surface, resulting in a variety of mineral-rich rocks. Here's an overview of how these deposits form and some of the key types. Formation of igneous mineral deposits. Magma differentiation. As magma cools, minerals crystallize at different temperatures. Early formed minerals may settle out of the magma, concentrating certain elements in specific layers of the intrusion. Fractional crystallization. During cooling, different minerals crystallize from the magma at different temperatures, causing the composition of the remaining liquid to change. This process can concentrate rare elements and form valuable mineral deposits. Immiscible liquid separation. Certain elements may separate into different immiscible liquids within the magma, leading to concentrated deposits of specific minerals. Hydrothermal processes. Magmatic activity can heat surrounding water, creating hydrothermal fluids that can deposit minerals as they move through fractures in the surrounding rocks. Types of igneous mineral deposits. Pegmatites. These are very coarse-grained igneous rocks that form during the final stages of magma crystallization. They are often rich in rare minerals and elements like lithium, beryllium, and tantalum. Layered intrusions. These are large, layered igneous bodies that form from the settling of minerals in a magma chamber. Notable examples include the Bushveld complex in South Africa, which is a major source of platinum group metals. Porphyry deposits. These are large, low-grade or deposits associated with porphyritic intrusions. They are significant sources of copper, molybdenum, and gold. The mineralization occurs in stockwork veinlets and disseminated in the surrounding rock. Volcanogenic massive sulfide deposits. These deposits form from hydrothermal fluids expelled on the seafloor in volcanic settings. They are rich in metals like copper, zinc, and lead. Comatiite hosted nickel deposits. Comatiites are ultramafic volcanic rocks that can host significant nickel deposits. These are formed from high temperature magmas that have a high nickel content. Kimberlites and lamproites. These are volcanic rocks that can host diamond deposits. Kimberlites are the primary source of diamonds, and they bring diamonds from deep within the Earth's mantle to the surface. Examples of major igneous mineral deposits Bushveld Complex, South Africa. Largest source of platinum group metals, as well as chromium and vanadium. Sudbury Basin, Canada. One of the world's largest sources of nickel and copper. Norilsk Talnak, Russia. Major deposits of nickel, copper, and platinum group metals. Bingham Canyon Mine, USA. One of the largest open pit porphyry copper mines in the world. Importance and Utilization. Igneous mineral deposits are crucial for modern industry, providing raw materials for everything from electronics to construction materials. Understanding their formation helps in exploration and extraction, ensuring sustainable supply and management of these vital resources. Formation of Igneous Mineral Deposits The formation of igneous mineral deposits is a complex process involving various geological mechanisms. These deposits originate from the cooling and solidification of magma, which can occur beneath the Earth's surface, intrusive, or on the surface, extrusive. Here's a detailed look at the key processes involved. 1. Magma Generation and Evolution Partial Melting Magma is generated in the Earth's mantle or lower crust through partial melting. The composition of the magma depends on the source rock and the degree of melting. Magma Ascent The magma, being less dense than the surrounding solid rock, begins to ascend toward the surface. During its ascent, it may evolve chemically due to processes like assimilation of surrounding rocks and mixing with other magmas. 2. Crystallization and Differentiation Crystallization Sequence As magma cools, minerals begin to crystallize in a specific order according to their melting points, Bowen's reaction series. 
Early forming minerals may be denser and settle out of the magma, creating layered deposits. Fractional crystallization. This process involves the progressive removal of crystals from the melt, causing the remaining liquid to change in composition. This can concentrate certain elements and form distinct mineral layers. Immiscibility. In some cases, the magma may separate into two immiscible liquids, each rich in different elements. This can lead to the formation of or deposits as the immiscible liquids segregate. 3. Intrusive igneous deposits. Layered mafic intrusions. Large igneous bodies such as the Bushveld complex form through repeated injection and cooling of magma. These intrusions are often layered, with each layer representing a different stage of crystallization. They are major sources of platinum group metals, PGMs, chromium, and vanadium. Pegmatites. These are extremely coarse grained igneous rocks that form during the final stages of magma crystallization. They often contain rare elements such as lithium, beryllium, and tantalum, concentrated in large crystals. Porphyry deposits. These are formed from porphyritic intrusions, where large crystals are set in a fine grained matrix. They are significant sources of copper, molybdenum, and gold formed from hydrothermal fluids related to the cooling magma. 4. Extrusive igneous deposits. Volcanic activity. When magma erupts onto the surface, it forms volcanic rocks. Volcanic processes can also create mineral deposits, particularly through the action of volcanic gases and hydrothermal fluids. Volcanogenic massive sulfide, VMS, deposits. These form on the seafloor near volcanic activity where hydrothermal fluids discharge. The cooling fluids precipitate sulfide minerals, creating deposits rich in copper, zinc, and lead. 5. Hydrothermal processes. Hydrothermal circulation. As magma cools, it heats surrounding groundwater, creating hydrothermal fluids. These fluids can leach metals from the surrounding rock and deposit them in veins or disseminations as they move through fractures. Hydrothermal veins. These are formed when mineral-rich hydrothermal fluids precipitate minerals in fractures and cavities. Commonly found minerals include quartz, gold, silver, and sulfides. 6. Special cases, kimberlites and comodiites. Kimberlites. These are volcanic rocks that can carry diamonds from deep within the mantle to the surface. They are formed from volatile-rich magmas that ascend rapidly, bringing diamonds with them. Comodiites. These are ultramafic volcanic rocks with high magnesium content. They are significant sources of nickel and are formed from very hot magmas that are relatively rare in modern geological settings. Conclusion. The formation of igneous mineral deposits involves a combination of magmatic, hydrothermal, and volcanic processes. Understanding these processes helps geologists locate and extract these valuable resources, which are essential for various industries and technological applications. Properties of Igneous Mineral Deposits Igneous mineral deposits exhibit a variety of properties that influence their formation, composition, and economic value. These properties are critical for geologists to understand in order to locate, evaluate, and extract these resources effectively. Here are the key properties of igneous mineral deposits. 1. Composition. Mineral Content. Igneous mineral deposits are composed of various minerals, often including valuable ore minerals such as gold, platinum, copper, and rare earth elements, as well as gang minerals which are of lesser economic value. Element Concentration The concentration of economically valuable elements can vary widely within deposits. High concentrations of elements like nickel, chromium, and platinum are typical in certain types of deposits, e.g., layered mafic intrusions. 2. Texture and Structure Crystal Size Igneous rocks can range from very fine-grained, as in volcanic rocks, to extremely coarse-grained, as in pegmatites. The size of the crystals can impact the ease of or extraction. Zoning 
Some deposits exhibit zoning, where different minerals are concentrated in distinct layers or zones. This is common in layered intrusions and can influence mining strategies. 3. Formation Environment Depth of Formation Intrusive deposits form at various depths within the Earth's crust, while extrusive deposits form at or near the surface. The depth of formation affects the cooling rate and consequently the texture of the rock. Temperature and Pressure The conditions under which the deposit formed, including temperature and pressure, influence the types of minerals present and their stability. 4. Physical Properties Hardness The hardness of the minerals within the deposit can vary, influencing both the methods used for extraction and processing and the durability of the minerals. Density the density of the ore minerals affects their behavior during gravity separation processes used in mineral processing. 5. Chemical Properties Chemical Reactivity The chemical reactivity of the minerals can affect their processing and refining. For example, sulfide minerals often require different treatment methods than oxide minerals. Weathering Resistance the stability of minerals in the deposit under surface weathering conditions can influence the type of secondary enrichment processes that may occur. 6. Economic Properties Grade The grade of a mineral deposit refers to the concentration of valuable minerals within the ore. Higher grade deposits are more economically viable to mine. Size and Extent the overall size of the deposit and its spatial extent are crucial for determining the potential yield and the lifespan of a mining operation. 7. Geophysical and Geochemical Properties Geophysical Signatures Igneous mineral deposits often have distinct geophysical properties, such as magnetic and gravity anomalies, which can be detected using geophysical exploration techniques. Geochemical Anomalies the presence of certain elements or isotopes in unusual concentrations in soils or rocks can indicate the presence of a hidden igneous mineral deposit. 8. Hydrothermal Alteration Alteration Zones Many igneous mineral deposits undergo hydrothermal alteration, which changes the mineralogy and chemistry of the surrounding rocks. Identifying these alteration zones can be crucial for exploration. Examples of specific properties in major igneous mineral deposits Bushveld Complex, South Africa Composed of layered mafic to ultramafic rocks, this complex is rich in platinum group metals, PGMs, and chromium. It exhibits distinct layering and mineral zoning. Sudbury Basin, Canada This large, elliptical igneous complex is rich in nickel, copper, and PGMs. The deposit formed from a meteorite impact, leading to a unique combination of magmatic and impact-related processes. Norilsk Talnak, Russia Known for its rich deposits of nickel, copper, and PGMs, this region's deposits are associated with flood basalts and layered intrusions, showing significant magmatic differentiation. Porphyry Copper Deposits These deposits, such as those in Bingham Canyon, USA, feature large, disseminated grains of copper minerals within porphyritic intrusions, often accompanied by extensive hydrothermal alteration. Understanding these properties allows geologists and mining engineers to effectively explore, evaluate, and develop igneous mineral deposits, ensuring a sustainable supply of these critical resources.